to all my friends, family, subscribers, and soon to be subscribers, please like and share this video. Now, I want to start this video off by, you know, apologizing to the fans and supporters, supporters of Hanshan Campbell. I want to I want to apologize to you guys because I know y'all motherfuckers be more mad at me than he actually be mad at me. Y'all motherfuckers is so loyal and so dedicated. Don't matter if a motherfucker say the right thing or the wrong thing. You know what I mean? You guys are team Hansan Campbell. So I know when I tell my stories, it upset you guys. Now, there's my apology to you guys. Now, all my friends and family and supporters, they always ask me, look, we love your content. We love it. We love your comedy. We love your acting. It's, it's pretty cool. We love it. Keep it coming. <laughs> but they always ask me, man, we know for a fact that there's other stories between you and Hassan Campbell and him braiding hair in Rikers Island. You know, they always ask me, like, look, could you please just do us a favor? Even if it's once a week, just tell us another story of something that happened with Hassan Campbell and you and him braiding all that motherfucking hair in Rikers Island. Okay. So I said, fuck it, man. They could just be mad at me. I'm going to tell them. So here's a story of one of the times when I was in um, Rikers Island with Hassan. <laughs> and this motherfucker almost started a riot. This is a true story. Like, this dude's hairstyle game was so fucking magnificent, he almost started a fucking riot. I'm talking about, listen. Now, Hassan Combo, you had to make an appointment with him. You know, like, when you go to any hair salons or any type of, you know, barbershops, you got to make an appointment. <laughs> so, Hassan Campbell was the best hair braider in the whole fucking jail. So, you had to schedule an appointment to get with this motherfucker. So now me and him were cellmates. So when he would have a whole bunch of appointments, because he would make a bunch of appointments and be forgetting about it and shit. You know what I mean? He'd be on the phone, arguing with motherfuckers back home. Like I said, I'm a big fucking YouTuber. I don't give a fuck. I'll be home soon. Like, so he will forget that he got so many fucking clients that's at our fucking cell. So at this specific day, when he almost caused a riot, there were three inmates in the cell at once. Now, he made four. Now, you got two inmates, like, sitting on the bottom bunk. He's standing up, got a handful of hair. You know, this one dude, he's getting his hair done and shit. Because, listen, there's a certain grease that you get on commissary. Hansan Campbell tell them, this, make sure you order the grease. Because he even got motherfuckers that work for him. He had niggas that work for him. Look, go to that cell over here. Let them know. Look, the appointment's at 2. Don't be fucking late. Hassan Campbell ain't playing that. He's ready to braid. And you know when he get in that braiding mode, he just get to going. Get, you know, your appointment. So, anyway, it's three motherfuckers in the cell. Now, there was, there was one guy. <laughs> he had a very important visit. Now, he hasn't seen his daughter in 15 years. This dude, he ain't seen his daughter in 15 fucking years. So he had an appointment with Hansan Campbell to get his hair braided. So now, even outside of the cell, now like I said, it's four of them, including Hansan, in the cell. I'm outside, I'm like sitting in the day room and I'm looking, we had like the top, you know, joint. So I see like, it's like at least about 10 to 15 niggas like outside the cell hair out, you know what I mean, cones, picks, all types of shit in their hand, you know, just waiting to get in there. You know what I mean? This is how serious it was. Now, Hansan Campbell, like, the one dude was getting impatient. Like, the dude that had, he, he had this visit, he wanted his shit done. There's other places you can go in the jail to get your hair done. But he said, fuck that. I want Hansan Campbell's, you know, work. So he wasn't going for shit. So now, like, he's sitting there getting ready to start to jump the line and all that. And then I see another inmate, like, yo, get the fuck. I'm going in that motherfucker. I'm supposed to see how time at 145, nigga. Your shit ain't tough, too. So these niggas get to arguing. Out of nowhere, another inmate, for some reason, you know, this nigga just had a seizure out of nowhere. 
This nigga fell out. He fell out, and this motherfucker started having a seizure like Little Webby, like out of nowhere. So now you got the guards looking over through the motherfucking bubble. They're like, what the fuck is going on? This is an inmate having a seizure out that motherfucker. Two other inmates arguing. Another nigga said, hey, you stepped on my fucking shoe. And I mean, niggas, it just started getting, it started getting real uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Because everybody wanted their fucking hair braided from Hassan Campbell. And he made too many appointments around the same time. Like, all his appointments was between 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock. And all of these niggas showed up pretty much at once. They had important dates and visits and shit. So they started fucking blacking the fuck out. You know what I'm talking about? Like, Hassan Campbell hair braid game would have made Queen Latifah jealous. Now, you remember Queen Latifah? She had the fucking movie, the hair salon joint, Ice Cube, all of them. Hassan Campbell would have opened his own shit up and just shut both of those motherfuckers down. You know what I'm talking about? So it was fucking crazy, man. I'm talking about then the inmates, they just start sucker punching each other. You know what I mean? Niggas falling out, turtles coming in. It's hair all over the place. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about it's hair everywhere. Hair grease. You know what I mean? And Hassan, he got the big ass eyes. He looking like, what the fuck is going on? His hands is full of fucking inmate hair. You know what I mean? <laughs> the turtles came running to that motherfucker, man. The whole jail was locked down for three weeks straight. All because of Hassan Gamble. That's how serious that motherfucker hair braid game is. You know what I'm talking about? Let's hear it for the boy. You know what I mean? We need to hear it for the boy. You know what I mean? Because a lot of motherfuckers, and then people say, yo, if you tell the story about when he almost started that riot, because I mean, a lot of motherfuckers got hurt. Niggas was getting shanked. All of that shit just to get to this nigga to get their hair fucking done. You know what I mean? But motherfuckers was like, if you tell the story about Hassan Campbell almost causing that riot up there in Rikers Island, <laughs> He's going to knock your fucking snot box back. And I said, look, there's actual guys. When I look back in YouTube and his history, there's motherfuckers that he's been going through it with for the last fucking three years. There's other guys that's been making fun of him for years. So why the fuck is he going to knock my snot box back? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> he, he know Hassan is probably not even that mad at me. You want to know why? There's motherfuckers who's been in the game in this YouTube thing, been talking about him. <laughs> to Hassan Campbell, I ain't nothing but a new YouTuber. A new YouTuber. You know what I mean? So he wouldn't even be upset with me. <laughs> just like when that riot broke out. Like, man, listen, it was just me and this nigga left in the cell. Now, it's like hair fragments all over. You got the block runners cleaning this shit up. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers is, is fishing, trying to get shit to the next cell because the whole jail is not locked the fuck down. I'm sitting there and the, Hassan Campbell, right? He's a very like serious motherfucking dude. So you know what I mean? I'm at the top bunk, he on the bottom bunk. <laughs> he just reading the books and then he had his reading glasses on and shit. He just reading the book. And I wanna say, man, look, wasn't that fucking crazy, man? Like what happened? <laughs> and he looked up at me, he said, in the hood, when you braid hair, as good as I braid hair, you make Keisha, Shante, and Chantel jealous. I'm from the hood. And that's what goes down when you're from the hood. And I'm like, what do that got to do <laughs> with this riot and us being locked the fuck down that you from the hood, huh, son? And that's crazy. And that's exactly how calm he handled that situation. And that was the story of Hansan Campbell starting the riot, well, almost starting the riot in Rikers Island for braiding hair.